So anyway, since uh, that video ended for some reason, I'll go ahead and run y'all through since it was only like 10 seconds. Gotta get an SD card for this camera, which is why I sound stuffed up and all that. Uh, and we will hopefully be able to do that and get a new, uh, get some great videos out soon. Not gonna do the uh, reactions tonight because I'm tired. Gonna try and get it for the morning rush tomorrow before you know the girls wake up and then the letting out the dogs and all that. And I'll do uh, Logan, Injustice 2, Worth Playing Age, and some other stuff. Trying to do some uh, well, movie talks and all that. Trying to get Meg out of the way at least. And then maybe Jurassic World 2. And uh, Kong Skull Island is definitely coming. The same with the Kong Skull Island toys video, which will hopefully uh, I'll be done with soon. And I, I've also got to work on the Mesozoica videos. But I've also got to clean up and stuff. This Jurassic Room itself has kind of been uh, in. Uh, turmoil right now, so I gotta kinda get that cleaned up. Ahem. Anyway, so tonight, okay, so have you ever seen Backwater Reptiles? <coughs> or not Backwater, Under, Under, yeah, give me Give me a second. Uh, underground Reptiles. Okay, so I've known about them for years. They weren't usually my first choice to go look at, to for animal, animals. It was mostly backwater reptiles. But in recent, in recent like, year, I've come to like them. They're really good Christian guys. Uh, people running this company in Florida. <coughs> they import reptiles and amphibians. They got a really great uh, facility down there. They were lucky enough to be uh, un to get away unscathed from the uh, <coughs> hurricane last year. Hurricane Matthew. I can't believe I forgot the name of it. Anyway, uh, hope you all enjoyed the presidential inauguration videos. I know there weren't much, but, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to get it, everything down. <coughs> hope you all enjoyed most of it. But anyway, tonight, every Friday, they don't do the 20 minutes underground much anymore videos. They do updates every once in a while, but now they mostly do uh, weekly live streams every Friday. So tonight, I was tuning for the live stream, and I've tuned in for like, see, I've been watching him for like three months, and uh, every Friday, I ask to see the Salamanders, so they kind of know me on there, and I'll put the video up, they kind of shouted me out, and I asked uh, <clears throat> if they have a deal going on, $20 <clears throat> overnight shipping, which is amazingly low. If I had the money, I would buy some from them because these are such cool guys. Uh, <coughs> they got some, I mean, they got such a cool catalog. I mean, they sell uh, the Fly River Turtles. Now, if you don't know what a Fly River Turtle is, I'll show you a picture. I'll post it right here. It's basically a freshwater sea turtle. They are awesome. And these are like the, and they are the only guys that can actually get them in. They can get just so many cool animals. They're such great guys. You know, I love salamanders. Okay, I've been wanting to... <clears throat> I'm kind of low on money, though, but uh, I'd love to get my salamanders to kind of collect it up. Uh, yeah, I could like to, because they have gotten so many new creatures. They got cave salamanders, which I always wanted to catch when I was a kid, but uh, I couldn't. But they're actually selling them now for like 80 bucks, which is kind of cool. Got lesser or greater sirens and fumas. Actually, I'm thinking about buying a a greater siren for the 29 gallon. I'm pondering over it. <clears throat> I think it'd be cool. I was thinking of either that or I was gonna get another axolotl to put in there. Cause I don't know if I want to do fish again. I think. <clears throat> anyway, so they show gaboon vipers, rattlesnakes during the stream. It's really cool, and uh, I'm going to take some clips from the video, and I'm going to put it in. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Hold on, let me clear my throat real quick. Oh my gosh, that feels much better getting that thing out. Okay, so, uh, they're really cool guys. I mean, they really care about people who are their fans, you could say. Uh, <clears throat> even though I've never bought anything from them, I really like their company. They treat their animals well. 
and uh, they showed the different venomous snakes. This was hilarious. During the stream, okay, the guy who handles, I uh, forget his name, but he handles the venomous reptiles, his wife keeps posting on the live stream telling him he better leave these venomous snakes alone. And they pull out uh, Gaboon Viper, which is one of my favorite venomous reptiles. Uh, had a, I think it was a monocle cobra. Man, that thing was snapping at him. Uh, let's see, what others? In the beginning of the video, oh, it's late. They brought out some Mexican alligator lizards, which are were really beautiful. Last week they had salamanders on. They showed the red Fs, which was really cool. Uh, but basically, they were gonna go look at snakes. I, uh, well, sorry. Let's get back to the twenty dollar overnight shipping thing, which is insane. Say backwater reptiles or uh or under underground reptiles. I think their original price original price was forty bucks. But uh I mean twenty dollars overnight shipping is insane. But uh I mean for that price Okay, so let me continue real quick. They, the, uh, the owner, I forget his name, but he's really cool. And he basically said, when I asked him about the $20 shipping, he, he's like, Taylor Lake, because he recognized me from the stream. Don't worry about you, man. I got you, co you, got, got you covered. Uh, just hit me up and all that. So, I don't know. I think I'll go ahead and pay the original price because I like these guys so much. But I don't know. I might, might take him up on that offer. I have to look it up. But... I posted earlier I want to see the marbled salamanders if we could, because marbled salamanders are my favorite animal. And I really want to get some soon. You know. And they said and they they go out and they uh they ask the guy, you got any marbled salamanders? They said not many, and they, they went over to a uh, horse a it was a horse trough with soil in it and uh, the hideaways. And they brought out a, a little marbled salamander. This made my day. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to add some clips in real quick. <coughs> and, uh, I think I'll just add them in and y'all can watch. But anyway, Backwater Reptile, or uh, not Backwater, uh, under, Underground Reptiles is just a very cool company. They get such cool animals in. They're great Christian guys, really cool guys. And, uh, I enjoy their live streams. Let's see. But this is really cool. It just shows that they're a really good company. I highly recommend them, even though I haven't bought anything from them yet. However, I looked, and on their salamander forum, marble salamanders are on sale for ten dollars. These are the times I hate being broke. If I had fifty bucks, I would pay for two of them because say like I did that I'm not gonna pay just for one salamander I'm gonna buy a pair of them at least you know because that's all I can really afford that or I'd get a little snake or something now I'd probably get two marble salamanders so I'd like to get pairs I wanna try and look at ordering in uh, at my local pet shop uh, some spotted salamanders too for the collection and then plus the greater siren which I may or may not add later on possibly but uh, anyway, guys, just wanted to throw that out. It was really cool. And uh, show these guys some love. Check out their live streams on Friday on Facebook. Uh, uh, check out their YouTube channel. And, you know, these are really cool guys. And, you know, if you ever seen their videos, you know the animals are very well taken care of. They got great exhibits or enclosures for all of them. They got they breed most of their own animals they breed uh, mostly tegus and monitors and tortoises <coughs> but uh, anyway guys remember to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos uh, hopefully I can go to bed because I did not mean to stay up this late really hate staying up late but anyway so I can wake up early and do those reactions before the girls all wake up and all that and it starts to suck. I'm going to try and clean up this room because, I mean, look, look at this. Look at this. Tank's got to get filled up. That 29 gallon's actually pretty great. You may not see him. He's right, right over there by that plant. Chinese algae eater. 
I mean, look what he did. He has cleaned this entire tank. It's amazing. And I fed uh, the Asian Red Tail tonight. So tomorrow we're going to fill everybody's tanks up, clean the turtle tank out, give Caesar a bath, <clears throat> you know, all that. So anyway, I think that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned <coughs> for more videos. Check out some videos I posted. And yeah, we're going to get <coughs> oh, sorry, uh, back on track with all these different videos. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. She doesn't have quite the exotic colors, but she has nice darker blacks on her than the other one. Look at the cool eyes. Look at the way they have almost like a, an eye shadow all around them. Really accentuates the eyes. Beautiful animals. Again, live bearers. Uh, I don't know if you guys said that. You said that. Um... Yeah. Nice UV light, nice and cool, mountainous, lots of branches. Keep the mist. They do like high humidity, which is really weird because usually when you talk about an animal that lives in the trees, it's a low humidity animal. But because of where they come from, it's a high humidity, mountainous, mountainous animal. So uh, that makes it a little bit more difficult, but just as cool. Look at that. Question. How do you tell the males apart from the females? Well, I just showed, if you look a little back further, I showed how you, the males actually pop real easy. But even looking at them, the female's head is much more narrow. They're a smaller animal. The male's head is, is, is probably 30% larger. And you can literally, if you go to the tail and you just run your finger up the base of the tail, the male's hemipene will pop right out. The female won't. All right. And, uh... What's the lifespan on them? That's a good question. You're talking about an animal that's going to be 10 to 12 years. Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little more. I've heard some people have it in 15 years. Okay, is that you? John Lingo. John Lingo, my man. John, where you been, brother? I love you, man. I miss you. Come and see me sometime at church, man, or, or at home or wherever. I love you, John Lingo. Praying for you. Uh, wishing you well. Uh, come and join us, man. We, we miss you. Uh, I love you guys, man. You guys are like my family. No joke. Jan Kevin says love the shirt. Yeah! Are you a part of the basket of deplorables? <laughs> I don't mean to go. And uh, Jesus Cortez is asking when will we have uh, ER Mastics. You hear that? Cortez? He said Cortez? <laughs> come here, come here. You answer the question. Come here. In Spanish. We, ha we have... In Spanish! Ah, in Spanish. Tenemos ER Mastics. Hoy mismo puedes comprarlos en la website. Spanish, you get a lot more words for you. Get a little more bang for the buck in Spanish. Yeah. I think you got nothing to say today. <laughs> Put me on the spot. All right. Uh, yeah, we should have uh, we should have more of your masks next week. So just okay. as you said, keep checking the website. Yes. Yeah, oh yes, and don't forget, guys. We got we got rhino iguanas this year coming. Cayman brack coming. We 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 we're, we're banging this year, man. We are banging. Grand. I'm gonna give you guys an update. Did I say Grand Cayman? No, you didn't say that one. Grand Cayman. We got Lewis eyes. Oh my goodness. All right, and uh, Savannah monitors. When will get? Oh, we'll Savannah's get more. now. Savannah monitors. Baby Savannah's coming to Africa, Togo, Benin, and Ghana, and uh, the first batch should be coming in early February. Definitely any day now. And if you remember, those things come out they're like that big. They're the cutest little boogers in the world. But Baby Savannah's are any day now. All right. All Taylor right. Lake wants to know if you we still if we're still doing the twenty dollar overnight shipping and oh, if so for you, how long. Taylor. You call up, bro. I got you back on that one. Even if we don't, right. I think we are. Ryan said we are, but you heard it from the me. boss, Taylor. There yeah, you go. The one that that, uh, that takes all the bills home. So you're on it, Taylor. All right. All right. Uh, step step in my office. Love you guys. <laughs> all right, guys. So while we're talking about uh, Mexican animals, I thought it'd be a really cool uh, idea to highlight some new uh, additions, not just to uh, some of the inventory that we're selling, but also. Potentially a project for us in the future. You guys have been uh, checking out some of the videos of the farm. You've seen that we're uh, starting to work with uh, tortoises, uh, Russians, and some different hingebacks. Uh, we got some other surprises um, in that arena as well. Now we're also going to be venturing into uh, working with some turtles. So keep in uh, keep tuned for that. We'll go over some of that here in the future. Now what I've got here.
are some Mexican giant musk turtles, okay? Now, these are actually young adults. Full grown, my understanding is that these guys can get around 16 inches, some even larger than that. This is a big male, as you can see. Big tail, obvious male. All right. Put the soak in these guys. He just came out of his uh, bin of soaking and then feeding. Here's a, a young little female. Check out, much smaller tail. She's much younger, as you can see. Look at the head. Now, they come in different phases. So you've got a darker face. You've got a lighter face. Some of them have more patterning on the head, some of the dotting, so forth. I don't want to get my finger too close to their mouth here because I hear they got a really nasty bite. Big mouths on them. All right, those are the adults. Here's where they start off. Little baby hatchlings here. These actually are older. These are probably from last year. These are last year's babies. But check them out. How cute is that? Hey, buddy. Even at that size, probably put a good bite on me. We don't want them to do it. Maybe you guys want to do it. All right, a couple years old. About three to four inches. Check out this. Another same size. In case you're wondering, the scientific name on these guys, it's like Starotypus tripicatus. Is that how you pronounce it? Tripicatus. Tripicatus. Tripicortis. You say tomato, I say tomato. All right, but common name on them is the giant Mexican musk turtles. Now, when you're keeping... In this species, and my understanding too is that these guys are a really hardy species. You're going to want to make sure that you've got them in some shallow water. If you're going to use deeper water, make sure, especially with the younger ones, that you uh, lay out plants in there for them so that they can grab on, get air. Very, very easy to get feeding on pellets. They don't have really picky diets. We offer them pellets here. Um, live fish, the big ones go to town. It's really cool. You throw in some live feeder fish, the big ones go right to town on eating on those. That again. Look at the, the Ash, Ashley pa Paez is saying, Miss you, Ryan. My dad, Frank, and I haven't seen you in years, but still love all the snakes, skunk, and fox we got from you. Yeah, Hope man. all is well. Tell Austin I said hello, too. Ashley, Ashley Paez. Paez. Oh. Ash, how are you? Come and see us. Drop us an email or something. Tell Papa I said, What's up? I love you guys, man. I'm having a day. Great guy. up for sale right now too so if you're uh, an enthusiast if you're looking to get into some breeding um, mud and musk turtles are really popular right now one of the reasons generally is that they stay smaller except with this species you're going to get a much bigger turtle although not as big as some of your like sliders and cooters and that sort of thing um, I'm going to take a break from uh, discussing these uh, mud turtles or these musk turtles for a minute I know you guys want to go see some venomous, so we've got a couple of cool uh, snakes up there. I'm going to show you guys this, right this now. This guy, uh, Taylor Lake, watches every Friday, and he he wants to see some marbled salamanders. Taylor! Yeah. I, got, I, got, uh, I don't know if we got marbled salamanders. I'll, we'll check. We'll look at them. Yeah. Let's go up there. I think he's been asking. He literally asks every show. Taylor, do you ask every single week? Yeah. <laughs> marbled salamander? Hey, you know, everybody's got their thing. Let's go check them out. Petey, we got any more marbled salamanders? I bet very few. Very few. Find me a nice one. I got, we're live on Facebook, so we want to make sure it's oh, like Facebook. Facebook. How are you? Pete, you ready to show some venomous? Yeah, man, absolutely. He's going to show you what it's like to get a Gaboon Viper bite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, just kidding. Quite exhilarating. See? Check it out. He's just buried in there. Let's go in the light. See, that looks like an Oreo cookie. Cool. 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 and saying, tell Ryan B he looks goofy from his brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. You know what? He, he, he's just jealous right now of my undercut, you know? Beautiful <laughs> undercut. It works hard to get. Any red ear sliders? Yes, we do have red ear sliders. He's done talking. I'm going to talk to my baby.
Yeah, basically. That's a snake. Yeah, this is a snake. Uh, he's cold blooded. And, uh, no, it's a Caboon Viper. It's, this is the uh, West African um, species, uh, Rhinoceros. For all you nerds out there, like uh, scientific names. Um, yeah, largest fang of any uh, venomous snake in the world. They get up to two inches. They're big, heavy bodied snakes. They get, you can get them up around five foot. Super heavy body. Uh, these are last year's yearlings that we've been holding back and raising up. Yeah, yeah, I got these things. They were they were little tiny worms. They were like probably five inches. And now I've got them eating, eating uh, adult mice and stuff. So they've been doing pretty really cool. Check it out from this angle too. You got these. Uh, He's about to eat. Yeah, buddy, you're getting closer. Get 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 Biologically, as, as a, a pit viper, like uh, rattlesnakes and things like that, they don't have any any, any heat pits or anything like that. Tiki's gonna hold them. No. All right, next. Of my neck. <laughs> of course, they want my neck. Let's take a look at some. Um, I've realized that Tiki is easily excitable. That's always weird. Just on a side note, you, ever, you guys ever notice like the, the mo most horrible countries in the world always have to you know put into the titles of their countries like that they're democratic. Like you got what the People's Republic of North Korea. Yeah. Definitely not a republic. Definitely people's. Okay. Uh, republic for the people. All right, now he's coming up. Uh, I'm done with that brand, by the way. We're, we're anyway, back to the matter at hand. Yeah. Uh, Central Africa. These guys are called uh, variable bush vipers because they come in a wide variety of colors. You get them red and orange like this. You get them uh, black. The most common you'll see is green, like uh, a few I'll show you if I can get. I think my famous guys right there. Most common color you'll see is green. You'll get them in yellow, uh, black, black with a blue, a blue hue, which is my personal favorite. They look incredible. They look like, uh, like gum metal. They're a little arboreal. He's hardcore for a second amendment, in case you guys missed that. What do you mean? The reference to gunmetal? That's uh, only something okay. that an NRA subscriber would reference. Yes, second <laughs> amendment, I believe in it. Tell my husband to get out of that room. That's, oh, that's my wife. Thing. Yeah. You know what Melody's watching, do? Say it again? No. <laughs> Ryan is actually about to take out a cobra. Yes. All right, this is, this is the same species, just different color. Green, right. not a different locale, nothing like that. Uh, it's not moving there. so much, though. Don't tell me what to do. We do get stuff out of Europe, Matthew, um, but we're always looking for new context out there as well. We, we do quite a bit of export and import um, currently. Uh, Europe's a little harder to get stuff out of because, you know, there's a handful of people that work out of there, um, and, you know, there's not a, a what used to come out of Europe is Texas. Any eyelash vipers? We do have an eyelash viper. I'll show you him right after. I'll show you this guy. This guy is a mildly venomous colubrid called mango snake. This, this, is, uh, this is the one I actually like better than the, the rest. Usually they're, they're black with yellow lines on them. What happens if they bite you? Uh, you'll get sick. Probably nothing at first. See their rear fang. Their rear fang. Oh, no, it's a little bit harder for them to get you. But this one's uh, black with white stripes, uh, as you can see. I think it's a little cooler looking than the black and yellow. Matthew, I did just get in. I do have some. We saw the Sufan cross. He's asking about Sufan. Yeah, I got the Sufan. Show you the suit fan here in a minute, Matthew. That's a cool snake. Geckos, why don't you do that next week? I'll give you guys a tour of my room. How's that sound? I know you guys saw some questions about geckos. I'll go over some new projects and stuff like that with you guys. So definitely tune in next week. All right, eyelash wiper. I got one eyelash wiper who set up like 
king right now because uh, Mr. Peach has. Um, he just ate, so I want to be a little bit gentle. He's in the back, I think. You see him? I thought I saw something in there. I might need to do something. Stick your face in the board. <laughs> it's mildly venomous, right? I hate. No, that's good. Real quick, while well, we're talking about venomous, while he's looking for this, I got it. worst question ever email concerning venomous is which ones have a good temperament or which ones are nice. I'm going to answer you back the same way every single time. None of them. It's a stupid question. And yes, there are such things as stupid questions. That being one of them. This is what we call this guy Christmas face. Yeah, they call it Christmas tree face. It was a lot greener when it was younger. That's when they generally give him that name. Yeah, we had him since he was probably three inches, and now he's got some pretty good size on him. Obviously, you can see how good they are at holding on to stuff. Alright, while well, we uh, show that suit fan last. We'll go with the suit fan. And, you uh, want to see any rattlesnakes? Yeah, maybe we can show them some rattlesnakes real quick. Pretty much in I think we got a few of them over here. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, we got a rat. You handle venomous, Morgan? Do I handle venomous? Yeah. No, never. Okay, so it's just one your point. Is that? That's why I'm making all the noise. Yeah, yeah that blood is the result of it killing a rat. This is a big question. Yeah. I'm back. She's pretty spicy, so uh, working. Take it a little closer if you want to. Um, don't let your hand around. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Say hi to your wife. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you, you can always find You can always see my shelter. That's right. Uh, you can always tell the question not to talk about his tail. They got that little, little raccoon pattern on their tail. Oh, is that not real cool? What did you say? Oh, it says no. Classic S position, Rob. Like, pretty good dudes and damage. Joshua is saying, what's up, Pete and Ryan? What's up, Josh? Joshua. What's up, Joshua? Joshua what? Do we know? Uh, Joshua uh, DeAndrade. DeAndrade. DeAndrade? I don't yeah. know who that is. Me neither. Yeah. Sorry, right. Joshua. If I do know you, hey, I'm really bad with these. Maybe you're just famous off of right. Instagram videos. Right here, these are all our uh, baby monocle covers. This is our suit fan cobra.